Welcome back everyone to Ultimate General Civil War. We have before us the Battle of Sheila on the 6th of April 1862. It's a very easy battle, in my opinion, to probably win. I mean, of course, you're going to be uh, up against a large portion of Confederates, but I don't think it's going to be a problem to actually win it. Now, on the other hand, the smaller battles that I'm going to be dealing with, that is a fairly different affair. I'm going to deploy my 10,000 men to take the river crossing. Jet, an oral portion of your troops must advance to West Virginia to support Lincoln's interests in the area. The narrow river passage must be crossed in order to reach our destination on time. However, our pickets report an enemy presence on the large hill ahead of us. It seems that the uh, rebels are seeking to confront us. Probably more Confederates will wait for us. At this hill, it controls the road junction. Almost certainly, the rebels will be ill-supplied and not capable of a prolonged fight. Nor are we, for that matter. Generally, your vanguard must scout ahead and clear the path for your, our, our army. Holding at least one of these two hills will certainly convince the rebels to withdraw. Okay. Now, this hill is easier to take than this one. They've got a lot of artillery over here. They've got a lot of units over here. So the best option you have uh, with regards to this battle is to take your units and march uh, south in full force. Now, it's not to say you take everyone without any regard for the rest of the battle. That's certainly uh, not true. Either way, uh, so let me deploy these guys over here. And I will take my artillery. Grant. Okay. Free. Well, free time. Okay, not really free minutes, is it? It's more like six or so. But either way, the goal over here is fairly straightforward. Take the southern hill, then, nor then flank around to take the northern uh, hill as well. Okay, I'll take... Oh! Okay, slow down a bit. They've been forced out over there. Flank around, take that hill. They've got more artillery than expected, to be honest. Advancing.
and probably that's how the battle is gonna look. I've played my tricks. Now it's time to just let the soldiers do their job. They'll break through, just a question of time, really. Feel that I should bring the rest of my guns closer a bit. Now, does anyone actually have the capability of charging these bastards in the face? No, probably not. Which is an issue, as you might imagine. But I'm not necessarily constrained by the time limit. Alright, they're breaking. Take this hill. They're routing. Okay, good. Try and kill as many as we can. And bring over my supplies. The artillery might end up needing it.
Well, ain't that unfortunate, I'd say. Keep moving. Gotta flank these guys. Good old trick. He's taking fire and fury straight to the face. Nastly outnumbered over there. I mean, obviously, I have the greater numbers at this particular stage, but if I lose this portion of the battlefield, I'm screwed. Alright, at least their artillery has been driven off the field. Or some of it. Get out of there, boys. I'm not leaving this field of battle unless until I've slaughtered or routed every single one of them. Oh, I guess uh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, victory. So, yeah, uh, I'd say that's, uh, that's quite the victory, isn't it? Billy Wright, Gabriel Hunt, uh, Hunt Hunton, Wade Roberts, Scott Hoffman, Adam Loomis, okay. So that's one of the battles I took. A thousand casualties, got a thousand recruits, no problem. Now, I would say politics needs to be maxed out the first, mainly because of the benefits that gives you. Now, when it comes to resources over here, yeah, a couple of Springfields wouldn't be bad, but that's not the biggest affair that I have to worry about over here. Still. Now, the reason I'm creating a new core, this one has uh, more XP. Okay. Let's see over here. Now, if you're wondering why exactly I'm doing this, uh, the answer is fairly straightforward. Kind of need to. Because the next battle... I mean, obviously I'll raise more units, that's not simple. The only thing that matters. Now, the Battle of the Crossroads, but men, you know, conscripts, recruits, all that kind of stuff is not going to be an issue. You know, 16,000 over here, all that kind of stuff. Um, the one thing I do want to do is get these two generals. Now, you could get 75, no, four, <laughs> yeah, that's not worth spending your points on, I'll be quite blunt about that one. Sherman, and McDowell, yeah, but that can wait until the next battle, either way. Yes, sir. Well, I feel I should probably equip right at least for now with the smith. And uh, give give Roberts and at least yeah, 500 men. 
300, increase the number. I mean, I have the coin, that's not really, cash is not the fucking issue. Where do I have... I mean, I should sell all the farmers, shouldn't I? Let me go to the armory, sell... At least the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, that's gonna be worth something. But first, let me check the other... Yeah. So not really much over here. 10,000 for a bunch of farmers, no problem. Let me just save, because I don't know how badly... Like, I've forgotten the way uh, the system works in terms of morale. So I don't necessarily want to just, you know, buy a bunch of these. All right, so morale penalty, whatever, right? It's not, not really a big deal in Shilas. Uh, is m more of a defensive battle, so using these, yeah, no, no problem. Wait, wait, wait. Now, the logic here is, yeah, I'll, I'll go with a bunch of rookies, no problem. Yes. So. A uh, good number of men on each brigade. Yes, sir. No issue. Actually, I don't need to uh, get more units, actually. Yeah, I'll give the yes. second core to Sherman. Who will get speed. And that's going to be useful. And now let's start raising some brigades. If you're wondering why exactly I want, I care about so much, you know, getting so many units, super grades, all that kind of stuff. Uh, wait, I think, yeah, I gave this one a brigadier general. They don't fucking need a brigadier general. So second division will get a brigadier general. We can get three divisions in total. That's not the problem, though. McDowell. I don't care about too much about McDowell, to be honest. But we can worry about that later. Should I have chosen McDowell over a bunch of rifles? Maybe. Now, I need this army to have no more than 12 units. Uh, to, to have mo no more than 9 units. What the fuck am I on about over here? And the logic here is... Right, so some cannons will go over there. Uh, the, the the mentality that I have regards this is pretty straightforward. And this guy will actually be promoted, so no reason to get rid of him. Uh, because you can only get 9 units at Logan's Crossroads. Now, Logan's Crossroads is going to be actually more difficult. I find a lot of these side battles to be substantially more difficult than most of the main battles. Especially later on. I'm guessing this uh, Vicksburg will be a side battle. It's not going to be easy to be clear on something over there. So, uh, which unit do I not want to take with me? Well, you know what? As much as I'd like to take Stuart with me, I think it's you know it's worth. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It is probably worth having some. Some of the, you know, giving some of the colonels, maybe some, one of the brigadiers generals and all that kind of stuff to the second corps. Even though the second corps is going to 
be a reserve unit for the moment. You need to actually level up everyone. Okay, so 2A. Let's fight this battle. There are 56,000 uh, Union troops, uh, Confederate troops. I have less than 20,000 total. Like 4,000 in the second core, 10,000 in the first core. Let's begin. Detachments of your army are gathering at Logan's Crossroads to commence an attack on a rebel force in Mill Spring. Our scouts have spotted rebel patrols at the woods leading towards your position. Go out the crossroads until the rest of your detachments join you. Start. Um, okay, so supplies can be deployed right from the get-go, so I'll do just that. Uh... I'll get rid of the cavalry over here. So get three of my guys right over here. Probably should detach skirmishers, to be honest. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. It's gonna be a tough cookie, won't it? Oh shit! Here they come, boys. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Shouldn't have done that, to be honest. So they'll flank around from the very start of the battle. And while certainly Trick can deal with a lot, as he did before, don't fancy the idea of him getting completely flanked and screwed over. I just don't know, you know, they're, these are not like... Some of these are historical battles, obviously, but they're uh, they're not major battles. Okay. an issue.
Alright, he's taking a lot of damage over there. Damn it all. I should have just withdrawn, fuck it all. good thing in this. They just won't fucking break. That's like they're an immovable object. Alright, gonna take that cavalry and smash their artillery to pieces. I assume I can. That's what cavalry does. General right here. Yeah, they're taking some extreme casualties over here. Stop running, you sadding cunts. First amount. Not the worst outcome, to be honest. We haven't lost too many men, to be honest. Like, I think, what, a thousand maybe? Go fucking Loomis, go! You damn cunt!
All right, Confederate prisoners of war. We broke their charge over there. Their artillery is still trying to withdraw. It suits me just fine. gonna send this infantry brigade to go deal with them deal with their artillery they do have some heavy cover in those woods though Oof, fall, back, fall back fall back I don't really fancy uh, Cavalry should be able to deal with the remaining remainder of the artillery. I am not finished not yet. Ah, screw it. Send the skirmishers for that. We need some ammo over here for the artillery. All back, all back. Damn your eyes. All right. All right, say finish it while you're still ahead, right? I, they lost 3,000 men more than me. I got two of my guys promoted. That's good. Very good. Now, politics do trump other concerns. Yeah, I can get McDowell. Good. Now, what can I get over here? Well, I'd say we probably need more Colts then, but it's gonna take some time. I do have 17,000 men. I intend to deploy as many of those men as I can within the resources that I have available to me. Yeah, major for a moment at least. Uh, and maybe hmm, our artillery unit could do. 
Yeah, I, I'd say an artillery unit. But the problem is I don't really have a lot of guns. <laughs> so that that's certainly an issue that needs to be taken into account over here. Bell, alright. Yes, sir. So, uh... 16,000 men. Alright, so they'll go without one. Sure as hell not putting a colonel in the charge of that, though. Okay. Yep. As many guns as we can get our hands on. Twenty about so or so for each unit should be about right, right? Okay. Um hmm. Yes, sir. Okay, first core under Grant, second core under Sherman. That should be good enough, I feel. Not uh, the best I could have possibly done, but I don't have the resources anymore to raise more troops. Not. Yep. Alright. Sheila. The enemy hasn't really suffered anything, so they're still. 20, 50,000 of them. But their morale is affected and their army size is also affected, so let's cracking! First division, second division, we've got grand total of 34,000 troops. 
All right, let's get the show on the road. We have transported our army via the Tennessee River to this location, Pittsburgh Landing, and we are preparing to advance further south. Our encampments are spread out to warn of any possible rebel attack from starting from the west at Sheila Church. And ending here on the west bank of the Tennessee River. We are expecting General Buell tomorrow. Then we will unite our forces and strike out over southern soil. General, our pickets have reported the enemy moved a few miles south. Well, let the fight begin. Maybe it's a decoy tactic, and rebels are planning to attack us from another direction. In any case, our right flank at Shiloh Church must be defended. We buy us to deploy some skirmishers. Okay. I know what the Confederates are going to do. Obviously, I've played this. Gonna pull back the artillery to an extent. Of course, they give me my army not to throw away units. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't give a shit about if I wanted to, you know, throw them into a fight. Either way, let the Confederates come. They're gonna advance on all sides. And they'll probably need more men. At least on this particular side, I feel that I'm gonna get screwed over by a massive attack. I don't know if I can hold the church. Or maybe I should just fall back to the last defensive line, but I guess we'll find out. Well, if we can hold out for a first day... And that should probably be enough to stop them dead in their tracks. Alright, these guys with the Springfields uh, M1 uh, M1 855s. These guys will uh, will form the front line. They should be able to hold. And of course, the fucking game gives me fucking cavalry. It's weird though. <laughs> Having such a mix of units first. All right. Yeah, here they come, boys. What the hell? Just that easily. Cowards. Damn it all. Oh fuck. This is gonna suck. Here comes the sledgehammer, boys. Oh, damn it all. Get out of there, trick. Get the fuck out of there. Reinforcements are arriving, though. Fall back, damn it all.
Oh, this is gonna be sounding nasty. The problem is I really don't have the artillery to stop them, do I? So I just packed the first core with artillery. That that's what would really make a difference at this stage. Artillery and a lot of it. Because at the end of the day, these units are just too much. All right, fall back, fall back. Crap. They'll probably break sooner rather than later. Sending Grant over here on the left side. Well, Sherman will hold the right. Come on, Franklin. Oh, damn it. Get the fuck out. Move. Damn your eyes. We've lost that entire flank. I can't hold. There's simply too many concentrated, all too much all there. Okay, the Confederates are attacking our left. The Confederates are massing on our left flank. We need to stop them over here. We must make a defensive line and hold them. Main objective is to hold the center of the encampment in our left. Godspeed, General. Make it sound so easy, doesn't it? Huh! Easy is not what I define this battle. Clearly, the enemy is vastly more uh, superior than I actually expected, to be honest. And I probably should have known better. I've smashed the same Union armies that I'm commanding right now when I was playing the Confederates. And those brigades are insane. I wish I had the ability to get brigades like that myself at the beginning of the game, you know. Just concentrate it all in one single unit, plow through the enemy on in an unstoppable fashion. You can't, though. I mean, I guess if you go for a high army organization from the start, but you'd be an idiot to do so. There's a heavy price to be paid for such a...
right. Might want to withdraw a bit over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get, get up, get up. Now Gibson should break over there. All right, reinforcements. Thank you. Crap units. This is the second core at the end of the day. Maybe I shouldn't have viewed the second core as a reserve unit because I equipped them in that fashion based on that assumption. Might even end up paying for it. I sure as hell need more units. Right, um, now the problem with right is oh, so much for my supplies over there. Where? Where the hell are they charging? There we go. Free core, the uh, free units. Fuck, too much. And ammo is going low. Slow down. Oh god, this is gonna suck. They're gonna split me in two at this rate. You need to fall back, reform. I am perfectly willing to concede ground. Victory. Now, the whole inflict 20% more casualties in the enemy, that's easy. And holding the locations, eh, shouldn't be a problem. We're holding. Barely, their momentum has stopped over here. Charging and where? Yeah, the right side is not doing so hot. Major Bowet over here is holding his own quite well, even considering the situation. We've got some supplies. I'll send these guys over here to support to support the left side or the right, I guess. So many of the fuckers on the field. Seriously? Of all the signing people I could have broken, he breaks. <laughs> the guy that's faced the least amount of fucking resistance. Oh, 
Alright, more incoming. Move the artillery a bit forward, get the supplies operational. Me more men. Oh no. That's lost. That's really legitimately lost. It's over, over there. Let's stop this. We've got enough ammo. At least for the cannons, right? Stop the cannons. Damn it! The hell with you, you bastard. Do it. Free if you brave men. Will they break? Will my men break? It's hard to know. I need to get them out of there actually. Well, I don't mind if I lose the cavalry unit. They did their jobs. Admirably well, even. What did they... Yeah, I guess. So much for that cavalry unit. Yeah, the perfect location to establish a new defensive barrier. The rebels will have to dislodge us from here to proceed to Pittsburgh Landing. It is advised to secure the area before the flanks get overrun. Oh, so wonderful. I've got so many units ready to join the fray. Oh, no. No, 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 no. All right, we need to get the fry fuck out of here. We've lost. What to the Oh no. Yeah, I can't say I'm surprised, but I guess uh, it's too much, right? Let's see if uh, that might work. No, that's not gonna work. We need to free them somehow, but I don't think I have the men to save them.
All right, hold at least one Spain field. Sheila Church. We lost the flank over here. That's no problem though. We need to keep going for the enemy. Get out of there. Can't afford to lose too many units after all. Can't I also can't let my guys be carted off like prisoners of war, can I? Some cavalry over there, no problem. We've got one flank secure, but then we concentrating over here. Hornet's nest is the kind of affair that you don't. Oh crap, that's too many. Um, I need Sherman over here to support my units. We need to reorientate the little troops over huh, on this side. And they've held admirably well, all things considered. Oh, their supply lines, their general. gotta hold Pittsburgh landing the battle will then be over we have to establish our last line of defense at Pittsburgh landing if the rebels take it yeah no problem the ironclads USS Tyler and USS Lexington are standing off the banks I'm not too worried believe it or not about losing that I mean, they are advancing, clearly, but still.
Well, attacking from that side will not do them any favors because the because of the ironclads. I'll take damage from that. And my goal here is to right is gonna get killed if I keep doing this. Get out of there. I really need those supplies, that's the reason I don't care about uh, Artillery. Now I'm not the only one running out of ammunition over here. Oh no, you don't. There we go. Got to hold Pittsburgh Landing.
Nice little terrain they've got there. Oh damn, it's all. They've got them pounded. Probably would try the Pittsburgh landing <laughs> at this particular point. But the lines are holding. In fact, I'm trying to flank the enemy over here. And get some supplies for. See, wait. These guys might need more supplies than these guys over here. Alright, these guys have broken. So I can take Hazen and try and flank some enemies around here. Fall back, Robert, Samuel. Fall back. Get out of there. Yeah, Sheila. A damn mess. I mean, the Union was forced back to Pittsburgh, landing an actual battle. Who knows? The Confederates might have won had they been able to take the. Landing on the first day. That was their goal. This an overwhelming assault against the Union, which was not exactly in a grand cons position at this point. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Two minutes, well. Two time units, whatever the fuck they mean. Two hours, I guess. Yeah, you've done a good job, Baylor. Get the fire out of there. Supplies. Let them go. Pittsburgh Landing needs some supplies. Damn it. I walked right into that one, didn't I? Fortunately for me, they routed. Fortunately, these units have also routed. Okay, they need to send the cavalry there to save their hides before it's too late. Stop it. There we go. Fucking help. <laughs> so, finally, the big boys have arrived. Artillery and infantry. Oof, gotta fall back. Don't wanna lose too many units at the end of the day. Maybe I should draw them. I mean, Hoffman has done a 
terrific job over there. Okay, right. All right, like 30 minutes left of the battle. Oh. I'm gonna get the Kirk's skirmishers to commit over there against... I guess that's not necessary. Yeah, I'm out of here, boys. Chill. I'm not gonna lose another unit. Plenty enough already. Alright, right is still in the fight. Good. Let me get Roberts. Artillery eliminated. Took a while. It's then.
Well, that was a full-on offensive maneuver. Almost done. Victory is victory, right? <laughs> yeah, one well, next day. That's uh We do have thirty thousand men counter attack, huh? Hold on. Well, no generals available, I'm afraid. No cash either. We fought desperately yesterday and managed to hold Pittsburgh Landing. Our heroic fighters and all other rebels advance further. All brigades of General B.O. are here, so we can now initiate counterattack to sweep the Confederates from the field. Let's do it then! Alright, fuel. We secured one point. We only need one. 
I'll try and reinforce it with as many men as I can. And maybe some artillery too. Provided I have the artillery. We only need one point. And that's all. Everything else is already done. I should have just fucking retreated, honestly. Like, legitimately, I probably would have been able to inflict substantially more casualties if I had just fucking retreated to uh, Pittsburgh Landing as quickly as possible. Alright, the church will go down soon enough. And they don't have many units left, do they? So let's do our best, right? The more of them I kill, the more of them I capture potentially, the more guns I get. So I brought prisoners of war. And I don't need more men, I need more guns!
Alright, completely driven them off the field. Well, I'm killing their generals at this point. I just want to finish that affair. Fire. Oh, damn it all. Come on, Johnston. Yes, uh, this was a nightmare. I only lost one general, though. McCook. Brigadier, but nonetheless, still a loss. But one that's acceptable. Inside that, great victory. I captured... Oh, my... Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it. I mostly I just captured a bunch of useless fucking guns. Farmers, reboard farmers. Wonderful. I was fighting, fighting a bunch of peasant boys. Oh, well, truthfully, so are most of my men, but still. Well, we at least got the Springfields back. Some smiths, some farmers, a cook. Okay. That's a victory. All right, currently regrouping our fo forces. The Valley Campaign. Gains his mill. I'll gain some army organization at any rate. Let's see artillery. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
It's it would seem this would do more damage, but at a shorter range. Well, for a moment, I'm just gonna stick with what I have. I don't want uh, cavalry that uh, shooting training. Yeah, cavalry training, stamina, cavalry ch charge damage, reconnaissance course, stealth. Maybe I should just go cavalry training. Could work a lot better, I feel. Okay. Oh, all right, kid. Uh, I'm gonna take these guys. Maybe I should put a bunch of units in the second corps. We're dealing with a valley campaign. Stonewall Jackson made the name of for himself over here. We'll need uh, all the men we can get for this one. And so just, I feel about a thousand men per unit is probably good enough, I think. Hmm. It should there, of course. Well, we need good units, right? With good guns. What guns do I have, though? Now, after this one, I'll just start pumping into army organization. You want to get as many units as you can. I mean, I'm just going to check these battles, actually, first and foremost, to see how many units I can deploy in them. Six. We have some units over here. So that might be a thing for the second core. I should probably start getting some reconnaissance uh, points, though. Hmm. 
Yeah, another reconnaissance point would certainly help. Anyway, Questine signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more.